Thank you so much for watching Tomochita Music. As you know, I'm borrowing a lot of a title from、uh, Ichika Nito. Ichika is a really, really、uh, amazing, awesome player. I met him at Nam Show and two, three years ago. He's very polite, very nice guy. He's really listen what I say and、um, I respect, admire like, you know, him. He's an amazing player. He's very, very talented. Not like me. <laughs> you know. But、uh, a lot of people you know,、uh, like his playing, so I thought maybe I'm gonna、uh, show you how to approach to Ichika style, but this one, three levels, so that you learn how to get there. See, copying him, not really great idea because he's a so super, super talented guy. He just t h i n k 200% more than the regular people, you know, way up there. So, you, you, even you m i m i t a t e probably you can't really you know, digest everything. So, first,、uh, okay, so three levels. Let's do this one. First one, what we do is learn basic chord forms. Okay, so、um, I think that title, I play a guitar, that's the one he、uh, posted around September 11th, I believe. And、uh, that was amazing, and so, many, so much going. But the first, you have to understand chords. So, level one, understand chord progression. Without this, you cannot go anywhere. And they always people say, How you s o l o n How to play phrase? At least you want to know really basic、uh, seventh arpeggios. So, I show seventh arpeggio. Third level, chord melody. Play chord. And melody together. A little difficult to do, but it's not too hard to do. So I will show you. So, first one. Sounds like that to me, you know, basic home. He has played so many things around it. But I th- so you see, do you understand D major 7? So right here, D major 7, 5, 7, 6, 7, 5. That's the position. Then you have to understand root, fifth, major 7, major 3rd, 5th. Okay? Next chord. I would say this one, yeah, C sharp 7. <laughs> you know, so like 4, 6, 4, 6, 4 position. Root, 5th, flat 7, major 3rd, 5th. Then G minor or G minor 7. Okay? G minor 7. So now 2, 4, 2, 2, 2, 2. So root, flat、uh, 5, I'm sorry, flat 7. Flat three, five, one. It's almost like that. Like a, sounds like a D is a key. Could be. But then, this one, it's a dominant function to resolve to F sharp minor. So, interesting. If it's key of D,、uh, this is a six. So, this is called 5 7 over 6. What we call secondary dominant. You know? But then. Now, here, E minor. Okay. 7 9 7 8 7. t 5th plus 7 plus 3 and 5. E minor. Simple A7. 575655. So root, fifth, flat seven, major third, fifth root. So you have to really, so like, you know, his level, he can hear any chord progression, dissect chord progression in second. Because ear, ear is developed, understand, really see those colors. So once you hear something related to these number system theory, so okay. So you hear 5 of 
to six minor, really. But then two, five to D major. So in a way, you can think like this is kind of sounds like a, um, neutral. We don't know yet. Then five. And then six minor, but really sounds like a new key. Then two five two, new key to D. So to me, almost the, the reason this chord progression is so much fun because quality, major, and going somewhere and going somewhere sounds like a settle end. No, 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 no. We go more. We, we go more. We have to go over the hill. Oh, over the hill. What's that? Oh, key of D. Wow, exciting. Type of D. Okay. So here, so this one called D major seventh arpeggio. I already did, did, did this lesson at the Guitar Wisdom and here too, okay? I think uh, arpeggio for heaven, something like that. So you can watch that video. But here, five, nine, seven, Six, seven, seven, five, nine. So like root, major third, fifth, major seven, and then root, third, fifth triads. So now, s stay same place. Okay, that's major seven. If you change this major third to minor third, major third to flat seven. So if you have minor third and flat seven like this, root, minor third, fifth, flat seven, root, minor third, fifth, flat seven. Slowly. So if you want to play like Ichika, you have to know these. Without these, you can't go anywhere. You can't go outside. You have to stay inside, you know? So, and dominant seventh, I change the fingering a little bit. Like that. That's because root, third, fifth, flat seven, root, third, major third, root, and fifth plus seven. Okay, so everything fifth string root, so that way, kind of system, kind of system like the same, right? And uh, for his tone, you wanna do use these two pickups, two pickups. You know, this uh, now I'm running single, single, single. Okay. So slowly, then then C sharp. F sharp minor, then two bar each. I'm sorry, two beat each. Sorry, sorry. So you go. Then, but you can do it like this. This is A for a seven.
So slowly you can practice. Third level. Play chords and play the melody. So this case, right? Okay. So you play ninth, seventh, and fifth. So this part, I don't explain what's, what it is, but you find out this kind of a fun game, you know. Then what's this? Then, so like... Almost like that. Minor chords, then for... Feels. Even this A7, fourth, fifth. It's more, a lot of fun, right? It's like now you can play basic chords. You can do arpeggio, you can do a little bit of melody, you can combine all together. Thank you so much for watching Tomoshi the Music. It's always fun working with you. Okay, so if you like this video, share this video with friends and follow my Tomoshi the Music. Also, you are welcome to join my Guitar Wisdom anytime. Alright, so see you soon. Thank you.